Hello YouTube. What is up? It is Riot Ghost. Today we have the fifth episode of Farming Simulator 19 confirmed website vehicles. Um, just quickly before we hop into that, I have had this website in the description for most of my FS19 videos, but I've never actually showcased it. So I want to showcase it today. Uh, it is videogamecountdown.com slash details slash windows slash farming dash simulator dash 19. Um, it's linked in the description, like I said, in every single one of my videos, for Farming Simulator 19 at least. Yeah, and it's just a live countdown for uh, the game. Okay guys, fact, uh, not Fact Sheet Friday. This is Farming Simulator 19 Website Confirmed Vehicles, Episode 5. So, we're going to jump in. Try to get through this as quick as I can. There's lots of stuff that uh, we've seen everything, so I'll try to go through those quickly. First up, we have Agco. Nothing new here. Agrisem. We have nothing new for this week. Agromaz. We have nothing new, and that's all we're going to see. Amazon. Still just the EDC 3000. Acrucin. We have not seen these before. We have the 4-stack 8.12, which I believe stacks 3 bales. And we have the Acruzin FSX 63.72, which I believe holds 16 bales? I believe. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Armatrack, we've seen this guy before. We have... Seen both of the Bednars before. We have Breedle, nothing new, still, just the one that we saw a long time ago. Here we have the Capello Spartan 610. It is a forage harvester header, and it has a working width of 6.1 meters. For case, uh, we have nothing new yet. Challenger, still just the MT-800. Damcon, we still have nothing new, and we're not getting anything new. Uh, Dutes Far, we, I believe this has been covered in a previous video, but if it hasn't, the Dutes Far Series 9, um, it is a large tractor with 295 up to 336 horsepower for that guy. DFM, we have nothing new in here. Um, Duvels, Duvelsdorf? I have no idea. That's German or something. Uh, the MSS 3000, it is a leveler, and it will have a working width of 3.0 meters. Einbach, still nothing new. Elmers, we are only getting the Hallmaster grain cart. Auger wagon, whatever, wherever you, whatever you call it from where you're from. Uh, Farm Tech, we've seen both of those before. Fent, nothing new. Flexi coil, we're only getting this cultivator. Nothing new there. Nothing going to be new. Flegel, we have this is new. We have the Flegel. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. It looks like a uh, round bale fork that holds two round bales. So that's kind of cool. FMZ. We have seen the bison and the header before. FSI, we've seen that before. Gessner, we've seen the planters before. We've seen the plow before. Nothing new for Grimmy. I have no clue if I'm saying that one right. Hardy, still nothing new. Again, I'm not going to try to pronounce this one, but we've seen this seating combination before. Holoras, these are new. We have the Holoras Stego 485 leveler, and it has a working with the 4.8 meters. We have the Holoras, Holaris, whatever, MES 400, which is also a leveler, and it has a working width of 4 meters. And we have the MES 500, which is also a leveler, and that has a 5 meter working width. Husqvarna, we've seen the 550 XP before. JCB, we still... Uh, no, we haven't seen this guy before, actually. 
We have the JCB Fast Track 4220. It is a medium tractor. It will have 235 horsepower and have a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Next up, we have Jens. We've seen both of those before. John Deere. John Deere. There we go. We have the John Deere. Uh, I don't think it was covered. If it was, I'm sorry, but we have the John Deere 6M series. Nice looking tractor, medium tractor. And it will have 142 up to 146 horsepower. And we also have the John Deere 643R front loader attacher. We haven't seen that guy before either. Johnson, we've seen the CS2252 before. Joskin, nothing new. Kemper, we have the Kemper 360 Plus Forage Harvester Header. This guy has a working width of 4 meters, and it looks like it is a corn header. Komatsu, we've seen the 875 and the 931 before. Garant, nothing new. Kramer, I do not believe... No, we have seen the KL38T before. Agriliner, we've seen them in previous episodes. Crone Big M450, we've seen it. <coughs> For Kuhn, we have the Knight RA142. It is going to be in the category of animals. It looks like uh, one of those things that uh, you put the bale in and it rips it apart and spreads it out. Not sure exactly what those are called. But the Knight RA142... It has it requires 85 horsepower and it will have it will hold 11,900 liters of something animal related. Uh, this guy I know does spread the uh, straw. This one is the Kuhn Primor 15070 and it will require 100 horsepower. Next up we have a pretty reasonable size. I believe this is a round baler. The Kuhn LSB 1290D. And it will require 140 horsepower. And then I believe this guy is a regular baler. I could have that backwards. I really can't tell. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is the Kuhn FPB 3135. It is also a baler. And it will require also 140 horsepower. Next up, we have the bale wrapper from Kuhn, the SW4014. This is just a bale wrapper. Next up, we have the Kuhn Cultimer L300, and it will have it working with the 3 meters and require 120 horsepower. Next up, we have the Kuhn HR4004. It is a power harrow. We haven't seen one of those yet. And it will require 100 horsepower and also have a working width of 4 meters. And there's nothing new here. Next up, we have Kvernland. We have seen both of these guys before. Lizard. We have... There's something new. Where is it? What is it? Ah, the silage fork for the wheel loader. And this is the same one we've had. It will have a 5,000 liter capacity um, silage fork. Yeah. Magsy. Whoa. Okay, uh, these guys are new. We have the Magsy Pallet Fork WL. Oh, okay. The Magsy Pallet Fork for a wheel loader. And this is for a wheel loader. We have the Log Fork wheel loader and we have the high dump bucket for wheel loaders next up in man nothing new there manitou nothing new massey ferguson we have okay in massey ferguson we have the mf 5600, we have not seen that before, although I feel like we have, I might not have put it in my notes. Anyway, the Massey Ferguson MF5600, it's a small tractor, 
with 105 up to 130 horsepower, depending on how you how you deck it out. And we also have the MF8700. It is a medium tractor. It will have options of 300 up to 400 horsepower and have a top speed of 50 kilometers an hour. And going back to the 5600, it has a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, next up, we have McCulloch, and there is nothing new in there, just the chainsaw. New Holland, we have the New Holland Roll Belt 150. This one I know is around Baylor. It will require 70 horsepower. And we also have the New Holland W190D, which we had in our fact sheets this week. And this one will have 234 horsepower and have a top road speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Paladin, we don't have anything new in here, I do not believe. Ponzi, we've seen the Buffalo and the Scorpion King. Randon, nothing new. Rau, the, just the Polymag 300, nothing new there. Ropa, still just the Keeler 2. Rostelmash. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of blasting through this now. Uh, Rostel Mash, we've seen the Combine and the Header. We have not seen the Forage Harvester. This one is the F2650. It will have 650 horsepower and have a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Salford, we have seen the Salford Plow before. Uh, Sampo Rosalu. We have seen this guy before, although it's not in my notes, I'm not sure why. Samson Agro, nothing new there. Nothing new in here. Silo King, this is new. We have the Silo King Trailed Line Duo 1814. This is a feed wagon. It will have it will require 85 horsepower and will have a capacity of 16,000 liters of feed. Stara, we have, I don't believe anything new in here. Steepa, we've seen the FHL 13AK before. Stair, we've seen the Profi. Steel, we have the MS261, we've seen that guy before. Stoll, more uh, loader attachments, which we've seen before. Stroutman, we have the Stroutman VM1702 Double SF Fast Cut. This one is also a feed wagon, a self-propelled feed wagon. This one's also in the category of animals. It will have seven, 175 sorry, horsepower, have a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour, and have a capacity of 1,700 liters. Sur, we still have just the four weights, nothing new. TT, we have nothing new. Vaterstad, we have nothing new once again. Voltra, we've seen the N-Series and the T-Series before. Warz, these guys are new. We have the Warz DE250 SSL, which is a skid steer attachment. And it looks to do some sort of bale spreading, maybe? I, I can't really tell. Um, and then we have the Warzy DE551FL, which is pretty close to the same thing, although it's a different... Uh, no, that one I think is just folded, and this one's unfolded. This one is for front loaders, and then we have the same thing with a telehandler attachment, the DE551TL. So we have the FL for front loaders, and we have the TL for telehandlers. Then we have Wilson Trailer, still nothing new in here. And Ziggler, there is the Core Champions 5R, and that's nothing new. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button.